It's seven nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Cubs have hit four homers today, and we have a guest in the booth, the toughest reporter in Major League Baseball. Oh, I feel silly. I, that's what I feel. I feel right? silly. Yes, I'm. I'm fine. You know, it was like I could see Garcia lining up that throw. I could see it coming high. I knew Freddie wasn't gonna be able to get it, and I'm watching it. I'm gonna give myself. A little defense and say maybe I was screened a little bit by the <laughs> yeah, cameraman. There was right, a photographer yeah. in front of me, and all of a sudden, contact with the shin. And all the guys uh, in the dugout are looking over, like, "You okay? No, you, you need you, anything?" When you're down there, you have a different perspective on the game than we do, quite obviously. And you're paying attention, but sometimes you're taking notes, you're writing down things that you want to talk about, or listening to our producer Brian Woodrum or, or Gretchen Caney when she's producing the games. When Schwarber hit that ball, you saw it off the yeah. bat and go to your right, I guess, right? Yeah, I saw it off the bat. So paying full attention, that's kind of what I was saying, and you guys talked about it a little down there. Full attention, saw it off the bat, saw it make direct contact with that fan. I don't know what she was doing, but I can tell you, even if she was me like I was and had watched it off the uh -huh. bat, I don't think she could have moved. Right. That's what was terrifying about it. Took how long? Second, maybe? Yeah, yeah. and it's coming in there so fast. I mean, yeah. I mean you catch a little foul pop that's no problem you know fans are ready for that and it's not going to hurt if that hits you not the way that did. One ball two strikes to Chris Coughlin as McKeerahan back to work for the Braves here in the fourth inning and seven nothing Cubs. Well that's so many of the new stadiums are modeled after this ballpark for the very reason they call it the friendly confines great sightlines beautiful views as Coughlin had his bat broken and is out at first of a good play one down. But with that proximity comes what well, obviously the inherent danger of batted balls and broken bats sailing into the stands. And we've had we had a couple of both today. Yeah. Hey, there's proximity at hockey games too. I mean, the fans well, are right on top of the ice, well, and they, they learned a lesson, a, a really horrible lesson. And I hope we don't. Baseball doesn't have to learn that same lesson before they do something. I totally, about it. I totally agree with you. And with the inconvenience of looking through a net, which we do every single day, watching these games and don't even notice it. Would your child's safety be worth that inconvenience? Can't speak for everybody, just myself. Don't let my family sit anywhere but behind the nets. There were two little boys sitting in the row right in front of that fan that got hit, and they both had gloves, but I'm telling you, yeah, I don't you know you can it. even get a glove yeah. up in time. Yeah, that's, that's scary. There's an Anthony Rizzo, the Cubs first base when he's reached twice, scored twice. So, Jen, have you been at Wrigley Field before? Is this your first visit? I came for one game last year, oh, just one. Right. It was a one day only appearance, and then this has been the first full series here. Well, you brought us a lot of luck. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see I helped out a lot in that department. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> Bouncing ball foul. It's back over in that same yep, kind of yeah. area. Special left handed batters here. It's mm -hmm. a great city, though, isn't it? Great fans. Oh, man, it, it doesn't get any better than this, I don't think. And the weather's been beautiful, and, uh -huh. you know. I love watching a game here. I still do, but I, I tell you, I watched and I made sure I was paying attention, and I was still wincing a little bit every time Paul made contact and just hoping it went somewhere else. And that's, I wasn't even hit by a batted ball. Fly ball, well hit left. Swisher is back and reaches up shy of the ivy. That ball was sizzled. That one, though, in the teeth of the wind and left, and it stayed in play for Nick. Two out. You were part of a Horrible triple crown today. Yeah. Fan hit by a line drive, fan hit by an overthrow, fan hit by a bat that sailed into the stands too. Lady got hit in the chest. I know. Fortunately, she's okay. So, three good examples today of what we're talking about. And to give you some perspective, I can see seam marks on my shin. That was from a thrown ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Wow. Seams, and just imagine that batted ball. It's the second one of those on the road that we've experienced. Remember the poor lady in Milwaukee when Yuri Perez batted, and she was a good 20, 25 rows up to be on the first base dugout at Miller Park. Well, and you know what I wonder, and clearly Matt Whistler had his issues already in this game, but you're the pitcher, and you see something like that happen. You know you need to stay focused on the game, but. Everybody in this ballpark wasn't paying attention to the game at that moment. They were watching what was going on in the stands, and you kind of wonder how does that affect the players? I mean, they're humans. They don't want anybody getting hurt out there. Something that worried me today after it happened. 
Bryant to left. And that'll drop in for a hit. In Milwaukee, when the lady was struck, the game stopped. The umpires would not let the game continue until the emergency people did what they needed to do. Uh, the same thing happened in Detroit yesterday or the day before. And today, uh, we've got a rookie umpire behind the plate. I'm not going to hang it on him, but they're tending to the lady down there. People are gathered around her, and the game continue. It. There's nothing to say it won't happen on the subsequent pitch. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was what I was worried about: is another ball being hit down there when nobody was watching. Yeah, I don't know that there's a protocol for Major League Baseball other than common sense, I guess, or the game situation for how the umpires handle that. I'm with you. I don't. Blame the umpires, but it's just <laughs> you got to get the game going. But you also have to be cognizant of the fact that everybody's attention isn't where it should be. On, that's on the pitched or batted ball. Two balls, no strikes from Montero, the catcher, who's had a big day today. He's walked and hit a three run homer. And I don't know if you guys could see when it happened, but right after the woman was struck with the ball, AJ Pruszynski came right out of the dugout. He brought a towel, he went back and got ice. Little did he know a few batters later I'd be asking yeah. for ice. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it was it, it, these guys really do care. It affects them. They don't they don't want to see that happen. No. Cubs have seven hits today. Four of them have left the ballpark. There's a good pitch. Andrews had good luck against lefties. It's the righties that have given him some trouble. And he's a strike away from sending our game to the fifth. Stairs full count. I will say this. I, I know at Turner Field for a fact how quick and great the paramedic folks are and the emergency per personnel are at tending to fans who get struck with a ball or a bat. And likewise today, the Cubs yeah. folks, emergency folks, were right there in an instant. Montero walks a hit and a base on balls with two outs. Brings up Orville Soler. Yeah, they were fantastic. They came over to check on me too. And I said, Oh, I'm fine. It's okay. And they said, Well, we're just doing our due diligence and making sure everything is all right. Meanwhile, I mean, literally, it was all I could do. Was, it hit me and I said, I will not cry. I will not cry. And the tears were like right here, you know? So, but yeah, they, they were great. They came right over. Laser Baker had a real sympathetic moment. He texted me and said for you to rub dirt on it. Yeah, I saw that. I uh, I don't know why that would help yeah. other than just making me of, seem tough. A lot of things. Dave, a lot of things that Dave says don't help. Just, <laughs> just keep that in mind. Hey, well, I'll tough it out, dirt or not, whatever yeah. works. One ball, no strikes for Jorge Soler. You just had your soccer shin guards on. I know, man. I would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. You know what? Now that you mentioned, I'm kind of surprised that knowing AJ Brzezinski's sense of humor, he didn't come out with his catcher's gear. He probably thought about it. I could tell he was giving me this look with like a raised eyebrow, like kind of saying, "Are you okay?" and also saying, "Really? <laughs> <laughs> Did that really just happen?" Two balls, no strikes. Two on, two out for Chicago. Got me up here with you guys, though. That was kind of fun. Yeah. yeah tree. Thanks for treat to have you up here. Join the booth. Chat of the sun. It's about time to go ice again in a few more minutes. Two one pitch. Missed inside. Three balls and a strike. Braves bullpen has had its issues in August. 574 ERA. 11 homers in 59 innings now. A single and two walks loads the bases. We're getting dangerously close to Dad's famous line. Huh. Bases are loaded. I wish I was too. <laughs> Pitchers up though. Jason Hamill. Hamill's 0 for 2 today. 
bounced out and struck out. And that's about a ball foul out of play. Strike one. hit by the pitcher one run score Swisher loads up his throw to the plate is blocked by LaVarnway Montero was stopped at third and Hamill has his third RBI sometimes when the pitcher gets a hit especially with two outs you hear a louder roar from the fans than any other time breaking ball in the outside corner and he just hooked it And Russell hits 21 two out RBIs for the kid shortstop for the Cubs. He had a two out hit his last time up. Guys, I've talked to all these young pitchers about learning on the job and taking their lumps, and they're all saying the right things that they're. They're trying to focus on little things, what's going to be better from one start to the next. But yeah, mentally, this is going to be tough. Struggle. And it's, we've, we've been talking about it this whole game, Jen, about this time of year. You know, everybody's beginning to get tired, worn down, and thrown a lot of innings. I, I would not say that's the case with Andrew McCurran because he was suspended for, for 90 games. But for a lot of guys, a lot of these young pitchers, they're into uncharted territory. Let's hark it back and look back at Tom Glavin's early days for the Braves. 1987, two and four, a 554 ERA. 1988, seven and 17, a 456 ERA. 14 and eight in 89, 10 and 12 in 1990, and then three straight 20 win seasons. That was Tom Glavin. Swing miss. Smoltz told us it took him three years to learn how to throw a slider for a strike. And that's totally understood understanding. Hey nothing through four. 